This last summer, while autocrossing my V8-swapped E36 M3, I managed to snap the famous E36 differential mount bolt. Something on the right rear started grinding and smashing. I don't know what it was. Roll forward a little bit, I'll see if I can hear anything. Once you do get to Oh shit. That's rear end. Yeah. Yeah. Gear down. That's... Uh, the end link where it's a different drive shaft, maybe. Clunk, the differential goes up. And it's drive shaft. Drive shaft, yeah. Or it might be one of the differential mounts. These joints? When it clunked, you could see the yeah. differential jump, so I don't know. Got those bushings, got that bolt, I'm set. I won't break it. I'm good to go, right? No, wrong. While rally crossing last month, same thing happened. I came through a corner and all of a sudden. Da -da 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 -da. So it broke again. What do I do? Do I repeat the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results? Do I assume that BMW did a good job of engineering this car in the first place? No, they didn't. All right, got to make it better. What do I do? Bigger bolt. Differential. Uh, there's our bolts on the back. Two bolts look good in place. Sexy ass purple rear sway bar. Woo! Uh, grass. Good. Dirt. And what is this I see? The front bolt. Oh look. Definitely not supposed to look like that. And actually that bushing is pushed out that is crazy because uh, that bushing was hard to get in there so it was that's pretty sweet stuff so we gotta pull the diff to pull the diff we pull axles you can see oh look BMW picked a weird ass stupid bolt pattern or bolt head so that's awesome uh, axles drive shaft then uh, front bolt, I mean that did the work itself, pull the two rear bolts, then drop it down, try not to crush myself under the weight of an 80 pound hunk of metal. Cool? Cool. There's what happens when your front differential bolt breaks and the diff can move wherever it wants. That is a slot being sawed <laughs> probably halfway through that steel. Uh, since this is the second time that's happened, I'm sure it's just been awesome. Yeah, looking good. Well done. Good engineering, good design. Oh yeah. Jack. Woo! Oh, that's heavy. Alright, so my diff is out of the car. It's pulled out. It's ready to drill. Step one. Half inch drill bit. Half inch is the closest US size for 14 by 1.5 metric so I'm gonna drill right there. I'm gonna drill it out one half then tap. This is a 14 by 1.5 that's the fine thread 14 millimeter tap so it will fit this gargantuan 14 by 1.5 grade 10.9 bolt. Once that's drilled out I also need to drill out the bushing. This guy this needs to be drilled out large enough that the bolt can slide all the way through. Because you see the problem. So, 
That's that guy. That is a five eighths. everything bolted back together and the car on the ground, it's time to take a test drive. But what's this? Ooh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> 